Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Now first things first, this is not a new hairstyle, it's actually a wig that I wore in a recent music song video I did, the cooking song, Cooking in Love, Cooking in Love, yeah. Some of you guys messaged me saying, Barry, I love that wig, will you wear it in a video? So here I am fulfilling that, and I hope you're getting some sort of enjoyment from me wearing this. Um, although I feel a little bit awkward. Anyhow, today is gonna be the quickest video I've probably ever done, ever, ever, ever. It's an alcoholic drink called Sangria, which is very popular in Spain and other countries, I believe. Now, it's actually requested. Now, please forgive me if you're the person that requested this, because I can't remember how, whether it was sent in via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or even on the website. I don't know, but you asked me to make it, and, uh, it's really easy. Do you want to see the ingredients? Okay, let's go for it. This is everything that you need. I know, don't be astounded, you're like, <gasps> that's it. Red wine, which to be honest guys, I absolutely hate. That is an old bottle I found that I got in a raffle through work and I'm just gonna have to go and drink it. Lemonade, orange juice, so loose sprigs of mint there and some orange and lemon slices cut up. A jug and we're just gonna fill that with some ice, and mix it all together. Now basically it's three parts red wine, two parts lemonade, one part orange juice, okay? So it's basically a lot of alcohol in there. And unfortunately, being the only person in the house currently that is allowed to drink alcohol, Mrs. Barry is pregnant, Phoebe is three, she can only drink alcohol when she's five and upwards. I'm gonna have to do the good thing and try and drink the whole jug of this sangria. So uh, let's get on and make it. And uh, yeah, see what happens. Okay then guys, so I've got myself a big bag of ice that I've been lazy, you bought it from the supermarket, but you can just make them obviously with the ice tray in your freezer. Um, this drink actually, incidentally, is perfect for hot summer nights or days if you're an alcoholic. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna show you outside, but it's dark, it's raining, and it's turning to the winter. You know, it's the middle of October now, so uh, it's starting to get cold, choosing the wrong time to do this. So I'm gonna start to put the ice in there. One other thing is you can actually do a white wine uh, sangria. Um, I think they just call it a white sangria, so obviously you replace the red wine with uh, white wine. And thinking about it, I like white wine a lot more than red wine, so uh, perhaps I should have done that. But anyhow, we'll carry on with the red wine. Let's just fill this up with ice. And the steps are very easy, right? Okay, so I've put my ice in there like so. I'm going a little bit hard on myself because I could put ice all the way up to the top, but remember, the more ice you put in, the less capacity there's gonna be for drink. So put that to one side. I've got two jugs here, 500 mils in each one. So together, they're gonna to make a liter and that is the capacity of the jug. So what I'm gonna do is put 500 mils of the red wine in first of all. Oh God. It smells all festive, you know, like Christmas or something, but I hate red wine. Let's pour it in anyway. 500 mils of this. Okay, so that jug's done. And I'm gonna put two parts lemonade. It might fizz up a bit, so I'm gonna let it go down. So just over 300 mils. And then one part orange juice. This actually might do a kind of cool effect when I pour it in. I don't know what's gonna happen here. A little bit of white on orange, let's go. Yeah, baby. Just like Buck's Fizz or something like that. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, so we've got our two jugs here. Let's just put them to one side and put ice jug, the main one, the hub, the mothership in the middle. Let's uh, pour the red wine in first of all, like so. Wow, okay, that's looking kind of cool. I'm a little scared, but it's, it's okay, I'll get over it. Now our lemonade orange juice. Wow, okay. Maybe my measures were a little bit over the top, but that's a lot of drink for me to get through. Right, all we need to do now is get in some mint sprigs. This is optional, just helps to sort of jazz it up a little bit, make you feel a little bit more posh than you actually are for five minutes. So just plonk those in there. And then in go your orange slices and your lemon slices. You know, you could chuck pineapple in there as well. Just put that in there like that. It's just gonna kick around a little bit. It's mixed together quite well anyway as it is, but let's just sort of stir it around a little bit. And that is our jug of sangria ready to be drunk. I'm gonna lift it carefully, because if I do it any more than that, it's gonna spill. You can see how much of that is to the top. It's all in there, stirred, ready to go. Let's drink it. Okay then guys, so I've poured this out. I've already got a nice glass egg on, a bit exotic with the old orange slice and the mint. Remember, if I don't really like this, you can customize it up a bit, add some more lemonade, orange juice, more wine, anything you want. Um, we're just gonna go for this. So it's just me, you, 
and a lot of sangria. Let's uh, let's see what we think of this. Got this garnish in the way. It's like I'm on holiday or something. Hmm. Kind of tastes like gone off black currant juice with a definite alcoholic spank. Let's see how we get on. Ah, oh, just done my first glass. This is strong. I'm getting ready to garnish. It's going to be a long night. Let's keep going. Getting like a brain freeze, you know, like when you drink those sort of frozen drinks like Slush Puppy. We have them in the UK. I don't know if you've got them, but wow, that ice is really sinking in there. I think it's because it's a cold night out there as well. Boo! I feel like I'm starting to sweat and I'm only into my second glass. This is mad. Doesn't look like it's going down either. Woo! I like seeing things. My mouth is gone all numb. Hello. Hello. Ah, yeah. It's there. It's the ice content, baby. Ah, starting to get immune to it now. It's just tasting like, like water, which I don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing. I just finished my second glass. This is a lot harder than it looks, folks. I put the garnish back on, I don't know what's going on there. I'm gonna bring my dad for emotional support. Let's see if he answers. Let's pour some more in. Hello, hello, hello Dad? Hi. Dad, I need you. I need you, I've got a glass of sangria in front of me, a lot of sangria, I can't do it on my own, I'm emotionally damaged and I, I, need, I need some loving. How are you? I don't know, I just can't do it, I need your help, I need some strong words, wisdom to get me through this. Get you what? I'm drinking sangria. That's good stuff. It is good stuff, but I've got like a litre in front of me. What are you doing a litre for? I don't know. All right. Nice. Nice. I'll, I'll, thanks for the inspiration. I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye. 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 Oh, my dad just goes on and on. You know, he met him before. He likes to chat. Nice guy in that. But whew, I was just telling him, I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel a little bit like a reindeer. It's not good. Let's keep going, guys. To me, I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like it's going down. Oh, is this like my third glass, my second glass? I can't remember. I might take this wig off in a minute. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not feeling this anymore. I need something to eat. <laughs> it's really building up, guys. I can't. You're with me, right? Man, I feel like I'm going to get my Michael Jackson glove out right now. <laughs> Put my white socks on and I'm walking down my street. That is what I feel like doing right now. I don't know. This garnish, one minute it's in the glass, one minute it's not. I still want the mint in there. That is holding the flag. Woo! -hoo, the mint flag, baby. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah! Wow! Whew. I feel like He-Man. I don't know why. Maybe it's the wig. Oh my gosh! I reckon we got a glass there and maybe another glass or half a glass there. There's actually bits of my wig there. Ooh. I'm coming for you in a minute. We've got business to attend to. There's probably some of you watching going, oh yeah, I can down that easy. But I am a lightweight, you might be a non-lightweight, so come sit here, that's fine, I'll hold the camera. And I haven't had anything to eat today. 
I should have thought about that earlier. Right now, you know what I'm thinking? The person that requested this video, I kind of love you, and I kind of hate you at the same time. It was on YouTube, I'm sure it was, whoever asked for it. Hmm, I'm gonna get you back somehow. Ah. Ah. This is coming off. Look at this thing where. Ah. It's getting too hot with that one. Rice crispy chocolate treats any day. Ah. How do we get wig hair in my mouth? Oh, that was the last but one glass done. We still got something in there. I tell you, what, I feel like I feel superpowers like now. I feel like Jesus. I feel like Gandhi. I feel like Mother Teresa. I feel like Jamie Oliver. I feel like um. Let's just get this in the last glass. Oh, look at that, there ain't much at all. The rest in there is just garnish, check that out. Oh, sugar. Okay, don't really want all that in there, but I guess it looks kind of fancy. Cheers. Let's finish this off. Take it to the hole. <laughs> in fact, let me put my wig back on. Okay, let's go for it. There ain't much left. And I am glad about that. I am glad. Ah. Done. I got most of the garnish in my glass. None of the jug left. And that little bit of garnish she kept going in and out, in and out, in and out, is in there now. So, if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a good for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. I love you. I need to go lie down. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm with Mrs. Barry. I'm not going to show her face, but... I've had a bit too much to drink, and there's baby Barry number two in there. Now, this is a lesson for you. You do not drink too much alcohol without eating. And be careful and share amongst your friends. I'll see you next time. No baby in there.